Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss another path creating tool, the calligraphy tool. Maybe many of you designers don't use this tool much, but if you are a calligrapher and want to digitize your talent, then you will love this tool. All you need is to know how it works and a little practice. So, let's get started. The tool with the dip pen icon here is the calligraphy tool. You can also select it via the shortcut key C. It is a freehand tool, but unlike a pencil tool, it creates a filled path not a stroked path. Just left click, hold, and drag freely on the canvas to form calligraphic paths like this. This tool works best if you use a pen tablet, as it gives you more control and enables extra features like pressure sensitivity. Let's discuss the different options in the toolbar first, then we will see how it works with a pen tablet. First, is the width. It defines the width of your pen nib as per selected units. It ranges from 0.001 to 100. In calligraphy, you often need to change the width of the nib during the writing. So, you can do this without going to the toolbar by using the right and left arrow keys if you are using a mouse. And the best thing is that you can change it while you are writing, like this. This option is used for tracing the lightness of the background. This means by enabling it, it makes the width of the pen wider on dark background and thinner on light background. For example, I have this rectangle with gradient fill. It has light colors at the start and end, and dark colors in the middle. Now, if I make a stroke over this, you can notice that it makes the stroke thinner on light color and wider on dark color background. When you write on paper, the pen's width changes with the speed of your hand movement. You can add and control this by using thinning option here. It ranges from minus 100 to 100. Zero means your pen width is independent of velocity, whether you write slow or fast, like this. Greater than zero means that stroke will be thinner where speed is fast. For example, set it to 50. Now, I start it slow and then speed up and then slow down again, you can see the stroke become thinner at high speed and wider at slow speed. And if thinning is less than zero, like, set it to minus 60. Then the stroke will be thicker where speed is fast, like this. Next is mass. If you know a term in physics named inertia, which states that an object will continue its current motion until some force causes its speed or direction to change. Mass is that force in this tool. The higher the value of mass, the more it lags behind your mouse pointer and the more it smooths out the sharp turns and quick jerks in your stroke. By default, its value is just 2, to work fast and responsively, but you can increase it to make your pen slow and smoother as per need. Next is angle and fixation. These both factors work together. In calligraphy, an angle is a very important parameter. This defines the angle of your pen nib while writing. And fixation defines the behavior of the angle and how much an angle will affect the stroke. Its value ranges from minus 100 to 100. Zero defines that angle will not affect pen stroke. 100 defines that pen will write an exact given angle, and minus 100 defines that pen will write an exact given angle but opposite in direction. Here I have added some examples. Let's draw an S4 each to show you the difference. As you can see in these examples, the stroke is at its thinnest when it is drawn parallel to its angle, and at its broadest when drawn perpendicular. Next is caps. 
Caps define how round will be the end of the strokes. Its value ranges from 0 to 5. 0 means no caps or no rounding, that results in flat ends. 1 means round caps, and 5 means wider elliptical ends. Note that the cap extends beyond where the stroke would normally end, like this. There are two more options here in this dropdown, tremor and wiggle. Tremor gives a shakiness to your stroke. Lesser values have a slight effect and greater values have a maximum effect on stroke, like these examples. Moreover, the speed of the hand also affects it. This gives you more control to give a more natural effect to your stroke. You can create anything from slight unevenness to wild blotches and splotches. Second is wiggle. It defines the resistance of paper to pen's movement. Increasing the value makes the paper slippery which makes the stroke wiggle widely. For example, if I select a high wiggle value, it makes a rapid stroke on the canvas as I move the pen. There are some calligraphy pens here with predefined values that you can use anytime, like marker, dip pen, etc. But, the good thing is that you can also save your custom pen with your custom settings for later use. For this, set all your values and click this icon. Set a name for your pen, and click Save. Now, you can find that in this list, and use it later whenever needed. The calligraphy tool also offers some keyboard combinations. Like for example, you can change the width of the pen with right and left arrow keys, even if you are writing. With up and down arrow keys, you change the angle of the pen. If you hold the shift key while drawing, it performs a union operation on the selected path. For example, I have this circle. Let's select it first. Now, if I draw a stroke while pressing shift, it will become part of the circle, like this. Similarly, if you hold the Alt key while drawing, it performs a subtraction operation on the selected path. For example, I have this square. Select this with Selection tool. Now, if I draw a stroke while pressing Alt, it will remove that part of the square, like this. Another interesting thing that this tool can do is trace a path using a guide path. For example, I have this path that I want to use as a guide. First, select it and then open the calligraphy tool. Now, with the control key held down, drag the pointer along a line parallel to the guide path. You will see a gray circle. This indicates how much the new line will be away from the guide. Now, as I start to drag, the circle turns green. This indicates that the cursor is tracking the guide correctly. After finishing, if I don't release the control, then I can start drawing another line, like this. As long as I hold the control key, each new line will use the last drawn line as a guide, and the spacing will remain the same. If the circle turns red, this means it has lost its guide. This feature works best if you move the pen slowly and have a high mass value. Now, let's discuss how to use a pen tablet with this tool. If you have a pen tablet with a pen sensitivity option, then by enabling this, you can control the width of the pen by its pressure. Less pressure results in smaller width, and higher pressure makes larger width for a pen, like this. If your tablet supports tilt sensitivity, then you can also control the angle with a pen tablet. For this enable this option. This will grade out the angle parameter and the angle will be determined by the tilt of the pen. Now, after knowing the basics of this tool, and with little practice, you can become a pro in it. And with your creativity, you can try to produce some real calligraphy art. I try to explain every aspect of this tool, but if you still have any queries, feel free to write in the comments section or contact us on our website, its link is in the description. So, that was all for this video. In upcoming videos, we will discuss the next tool of the Inkscape in detail, so stay tuned. 
If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.